Good morning, fish heads. It is Saturday. Today's March 2nd. And it seems like we're in for a bit of a cold snap here in Arkansas. It looks like it's probably going to snow tomorrow. Well, that's going to screw up the bedding fish. But hey, thanks, Mama Nature. It's warm in here. Let's get started. Today is your weekend or shop update. And as always, we've got some new pieces to show you. Not always new, but just y'all haven't seen them in a while. Actually, I think I do have two brand new pieces that you guys have not seen. Um, unless you've been stalking me on Facebook and then you might have seen that guy. We're going to start off with an order, though. This is going to be heading out today. This you can find at www.jekyllbaits.com. Let me see if I can get it out of this blinding light here. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and put this up a little bit so it's not as glaring. This is a Red Eared Sunny. You can find this under the uh, SQB cranks in that wide lip. Running standard must add number four trebles on this. A little blush on the throat and that traditional red eared on the ear flap, that dot. The common ghillie. Some scaling up top. There we go. A little bit better of a view of the top of the bait. That traditional blue on the gill plate and the ear flap. Just a hint of the striping down the sides. It's all freehand. My accent colors on these are the burnt sienna, sepia. If you detect just a little bit of um, purple on top, that's that black purple magenta for shading. I've got just a little bit around the eyes. It's the fish skull's living eyes on this. And there's just a little bit of burnt orange underneath that you can see when you get close up on the scaling. A little gold copper pearlescence shot across the top. Now that gold across the top is going to give you a better replication of what the scales would look like. And the Hamilton Crawl. This Hamilton Crawl has been popular, so popular, in fact, that I'm going to bring it into the S line for 2019. We're getting ready to, March is going to be a good month for the website. We're going to be putting a bunch of new stuff on. I do it every spring. Um, usually choose two or three lines to do. I did S's last year. They're very popular. So the, that's going to happen. <laughs> Um, but I'm also going to do some poppers and some, some new wake baits as well. This is obviously the Hamilton Craw in the wake bait. This is going to be going out. It's been clear coating for a couple of days. And while my customer did not specifically order the upgrade for the feathered treble, some of my orders have been running a little bit long in the run time for the turnaround time, which is typical for this time of year. It's the pre-tournament season rush. So... Everybody's trying to hustle to get their orders in, but we've uh, we've added the uh, feather trebles for Derek, and that'll be heading out this morning. So those three pieces go to him. So let's go ahead and show you this S. Same as the wake bait, with those really cool green eyes. I've got some real deep magenta black magenta fade. It's not a traditional black on the face. It's You can see when it gets up under that light, you can see that purple on the nose. But I really like the fades in this one. And uh, it's I've had enough requests for it where it's going to be added to the, the website line. You guys have seen these before, but that's another one going out on that holographic party crank. That wide lip square bill down to that gold orange on the throat and a new ghost gill. This is definitely going to be going on the website. You can see when you get it up, it's extremely transparent. 
Just shot a little bit of light blue pearl on the gill plates and back. Love the ghost gill. Orange in the mouth instead of red. Trying to keep it in tradition with the, the gill colors. Orange and yellow on the belly and that black magenta fade on the top. I love using round eyes that fit well. And I do, I, I, people ask where I get the eyes for these, these gill through water or gill through water flow technology. Say that five times fast early on a Sunday, Saturday. Wow. Where's my coffee? Right there, right next to mother Brown. But I cut these, I cut the eyes to where they're going to fit really well. But this is going to be up hopefully within the week on the website. A couple other ones. This is a bruised spring shad. Looking behind it, scared. Little reddish flush on the chest. Did those pectoral fins and a little bit of shading on that gill plate. Just a little blush blue and that bruised plum color on top into a black. Silver eyes, traditional. Although I have seen a, a little bit of a gold tint on some shad. The kiwi. This is half of an order. Some of this stuff up here. Everything else is on the clear rack. I like the eyes on this one. Those, uh, these are dinger eyes. I don't know if he has them currently in stock, but that's where I got them. Kiwi's a fun, fun pattern. Good spring pattern. Calico Krabi. You guys have seen this before. Nothing new on that LJMD 50. Left that white. These are money. About that seven to nine foot range, crappie, money. And last but certainly not least, got a couple more of these in now. Those of you that have been on Facebook have seen the dirty red craw version. This is the Ozark craw version. I think the last one had gold eyes. I have put um, orange eyes on this. That uh, olive fading into a little bit of leaf green, into a fluorescent orange and an iridescent red. I don't know if you guys can see that color shift, but iridescence really will shift colors, especially on the belly of a bait when you're using a little bit darker. The darker the iridescent color, the more color shift you're going to have. And that's what I've got for you this morning. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you guys are in an area of the country where you can find some open water. If you're not and you have hard water still, please be careful. Um, spring is on the way. It will be here, so make sure your ice is thick enough if you guys are still out there chunking away with augers, ice fishing. And there will be a spray session. It's going to be a special spray session this week, so um, make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do something a little bit different, and I don't, I haven't seen any other um, airbrush artists that do lures do this. And if you guys like the format, we're gonna add a monthly installment of this particular type of spray session, but we're gonna kick it off with a bang. You guys should see that by Monday morning. So stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching the channel. As always, it's really good company. Thanks for stopping by. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Happy casting.